Hello YouTube, got another unboxing video today. And it's uh, going to be an exciting one because for once I didn't buy just secondhand garbage. In an unboxing video. This is an actual unboxing video of a, well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a new product, but it's, it's, it's an upgrade for me, that's for sure. It's the receipt. Here is the box. Oh yes. So pretty much this is a follow-up video on the video that I made a, l a couple of days ago in my rage on my iPad 3, which could not keep up with iOS 8, that was for sure. So I decided to go overboard, get rid of it, and uh, get an iPad mini with Retina display instead. This of course features the same A7 processor as the first generation iPad Air and the iPhone 5S. Has a gig of RAM as well, but that A7 socket is definitely a lot better. Because it has a DDR3-1600 memory controller instead of the old-fashioned DDR2 uh, memory controller. So it has a hell of a lot more bandwidth, the CPU cores are better, it's now based on the Cyclone architecture instead of well, pretty much Cortex A9 cores that the A5 sock used. So yeah, it's still perfectly sealed in plastic. Let's do something about it. I'm going to do this very carefully. There we go. Just a very small incision. See there, iPad Mini. This is the iPad Mini Wi-Fi 16GB Space Gray with Retina Display. I've used a couple of A7 a, a, a devices before and they're definitely much better than the A5s are. And honestly I don't mind downgrading again to the 8 inch, uh, or 7.9 inch rather, display because quite frankly I'm used to it because I used to own a first generation iPad mini if you remember. This is the Space Gray model. I'll be ordering a case or a cover later on. I decided to get the tablet first because I sold it last night and I wanted to have it today. And that's what, what I did. Couldn't order through Apple because they had a two day shipping time on this tablet. I found a web shop that actually still ships the same day if you order before 11:30 uh, p.m. So that's what I did. I ordered it around 9 p.m. or so, and it got delivered today around 11:30 a.m. So that's good. Unfortunately, I could not uh, get the package right away simply because uh, I wasn't home at the time. I was at the client. So let's get the plastic. Because what's in the box is totally not interesting. There it is. A gorgeous display. Still nice and perfect. So, let's take a little tour here. Got dual microphones here. One here and one up here. 5 megapixel camera. Capable of 1080p. Video recording and all that good stuff. Here is the 3.5mm jack. The power button. The mute switch and the volume rockers on the bottom, stereo speakers, and a lightning connector. And that's pretty much it. So let's fire it up, see if it has any juice. There we go. My previous iPad Mini was actually uh, the white aluminum model. I decided to go for the black space gray model this time. I think the space gray is a lot more, you know, it's a lot better looking than the uh, than the slate used to be. Oh yes, take a look at that gorgeous retina display. <laughs> so yeah. It's a very nice looking tablet indeed.
and I hope that this one will in fact improve my iOS 8 experience. But yeah, this is definitely, definitely much nicer than the iPad Mini that I used to own. I got that with iOS 6 still. Oh, what the heck. It could be a new iPad. Look at my Apple ID. Bit off camera, of course. Wow, the keyboard actually responds to my typing this time around. That's what the A5X in my iPad 3 couldn't do, and the A5 in my previous iPad Mini couldn't either. Though my iPad Mini was actually not as slow in iOS 8 as the iPad 3 turned out to be later on. At first it seemed to be about average, a little bit better maybe. But uh, as time progressed it definitely got worse and it's just it was just borderline unusable. So I put it online, got 180 euros for it. And uh, it's gone now. Bought this for two ninety nine because that's pretty much all I have at the moment. Oh well, I do have more money than that, but I decided not to get the iPad Mini three because it's pretty much a useless upgrade. The only difference between the iPad Mini two and the iPad Mini three is Touch ID. The same system on a chip, has the same cameras, has the same display. It's just useless. It's completely useless. Uh, let's see, yes, we're going to use iCloud. So yeah, I really hope that this is going to uh, improve my iOS 8 experience. I don't want a passcode, come on. Uh, no diagnostic info. There we go. I would say it is all set up. Oh yes, that's much faster. Damn. Oh my, that display is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, a Retina display on 10 inches is actually pretty darn good, but on 7.9, same resolution, 2048 by 1536. It's absolutely insane. There we go. Everything just instantly loads. Let's pick a website that's actually pretty darn heavy. I'm gonna pick memesender.com. Let's see how quickly we can scroll through this. Yeah, this is definitely something an A5 can can never do. This is very impressive. See all the images that it has to load? Just scrolls right through them. Smooth as butter, as uh, Steve Jobs would say. Oh yeah, just super zippy. This is what I've been waiting for, honestly. See how quickly it responds to switching uh, to landscape and portrait mode? Yep, this is what I wanted in, at the fir in the first place. Seriously, I'm very excited now to use this. And this is the unboxing and it concludes it of my iPad Mini, iPad Mini 2 Retina, with the A7 system on the chip, as I am upgrading from the A5X in my iPad 3 Retina. I definitely like the iPad Mini's form factor a bit more, so. I don't think I will be disappointed with this tablet this time around. I will probably not update to iOS 9 when that comes out anyway. Because that will probably uh, bring the A6 and A7 devices all down to a crawl. That's my uh, expectation. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I did. Thank you all for watching. And see you guys in the next video.